Hi guys, welcome back to Smogar Mania with me, Sam. Today I'm going to be doing another figure review. Um, if you saw my last video, you probably know what it's going to be. Um, it is going to be Elite 66 Bludgeon Brothers. I cannot wait to open these and have a look, actually have a good look at these figures. They are just phenomenal. Right, let's uh, open up and have a look. Alright then, let's have a look at these figures. Um, don't which one to start off with first. Let's uh, have a look at Harper first then. It's just phenomenal. Just, they're just awesome figures. They've got the, all the entrance gear on everything. It's got Harper on the side. There you go, Harper's on the back as well. Well, it's got the rest of them. Um, he's in 66 as well. We've got Nicky Cross, Kurt Angle, AJ Styles, Kevin Owens, Rowan, and Harper, obviously. Looking at Harper first. So, open up and have a look. Really cool looking figure. Obviously, he's got his uh, hammer as well, which I'll come through in a second. Let's have a look at this figure first. The detail they've gone into just so so good, especially with the B on the back. And I know it's rubber, but it does, it looks really really nice. Obviously, got the hood as well. So Take that off him. Have a look at the figure first. Obviously, you've got Rowan with his uh, Harper, even. With his beard. There's a bit of a top knot and hair down the back as well. Something going on with that arm, but it's fine. Uh, just look at the detail they've gone to in those trousers. Almost similar to the um, Authors of Pain. But, and it's just nice how they just seeing the kick pads as well on them. Just going with detail all around. It is really, really good. His armband as well, the detail they've gone into that. Obviously, he's got the interchangeable hands, but I'm going to keep these hands on him. Obviously got the jacket, all made out of rubber, but it's like how it's got all the patches and everything on there, and the different reds, all the way through, on the arms as well, and the, the hood's really cool, uh, this one isn't detachable but I know Rowan's is. But yeah, really good, especially that detail for the um, the being obviously where it's been worn off. Looks really good. Uh, obviously, you've got the spare hands. Just the closed fists. She's got the one with the, his right hand. She's got the paint on. Let's go with the armband and just a plain one for his uh, left hand. Oh. Can't seem to get that out. It does not want to come out. There we go. We've obviously, got the uh, Bludgeon Brothers. Okay, Mallet, would you call it? I don't know. Just all the detail. You got all down it. So you put Bludgeon Brothers logo at the top. 
and all the um, symbols down the handle of it. It's a proper, proper noise. I need to bend that a little bit. It's got a little bit bent as I've cut it out. So, have a look with him. With it in his hand. And get it back in. As if he's walking down to stage. I have to wedge it open a little bit. To get it in. But yeah. That is really really nice figure. Right, let's have a have a look at Harper now. Uh, Rowan even, sorry. Right then, let's have a look at Rowan. Same as Harper. Just an awesome figure, especially a detail go to into. Obviously got the mask as well there. Second pair of hands, interchangeable hands even. Got him on the side. Got him coming down the entrance ramp there with his mask on and uh, his hammer over his shoulder. Also, the rest of the things, figures that are in this series. There is one other one as well, which is a Target exclusive, I think, which is um, Alexander Wolf, which I hope we can get in the UK. But I'm not hope. Just, I just hope he comes out. So, have a look at, open them up and uh, have a look. There's quite a weight to the figures as well. It's mainly because of the um, plastic. Alright, let's have a look at this figure then. Obviously he's got his hood, which is, you can take it off, but for full effect, you want it on. So going to take it off for a moment and have a look at the figure first. There you go, he's got his uh, waist belt on with the Budgeon Brothers on there. This one's suffering from the same as um, the Harper. His arm, but it will go. That's fine. I need to display them anyway, so. But yeah. True effects heads. Scans are getting really good nowadays, so. But yeah, I love all the detail they go into as well on the on the top. It's got like the metal studs coming through all around on the arms. All around the arms, it's a bit loose in the body, but like I said, I just um, display them. Trousers are pretty much exactly the same as Harper's. Actually, they're not. They're different actually. It's just got the um, wedge at the top, obviously on the kick pads as well. But yeah, you can take his belt off as well, but I'm gonna leave that on there. Uh, let's put his. Let's have a put a figure there for a minute. Let's have a look. look at his entrance gear. It is nice actually. With all the patchwork, like it's almost like a patchwork quilt, isn't it? So we've got Bludgeon Brothers logo at the back there. That's really cool, especially with the two hammers and just the rest of it. It just looks awesome. The two different shades of red as well. Just looks cool. Let's put that back on him. Let's put him down there for a minute. Let's get his uh, mask. The only thing it doesn't do, unfortunately, is doesn't stick on his face you have to actually put the head hood on but I'll uh, put that on in a second let's have a quick look at it it's cool especially like looking like a, like a gas mask isn't it so shame we can't didn't do the 
I hold C3, but that's fine. I'm quite happy with that. But yeah, that is really, really cool. To get it to sit in, I think, yeah. You can just see there's a little hole just there. Just about to see my finger. You should see the wall back through there. So just put that on. Just can get that in there. There's a bit of a tight squeeze. And that just sits over top. Like so. Obviously, as he's a bludgeon brother, he's got to have his mallet. Put it on it in his hand. Just put it like he's coming down the entrance ramp. Just like that. I'll see. Got the hands again. Got the um, wristbands on both, but they're cool. Both slightly different shades. If you can see that, I may not be able to pick it up very well. I didn't notice that before, but yeah, they're proper, real nice figures. Just as all the detail they've gone into. Right, so there we go with my review of the Bludgeon Brothers, which is Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. So we've got Luke Harper here. I'm going to give, I'm going to actually give both figures a good nine out of ten. It's just the detail they got into them um, with the hammers. Um, I think they're both the same bollocks of it. Yeah, but just just the detail they got into them. I think they're absolutely great figures. If you can get them in your collection, I definitely would. Uh, place I got them from was um, I actually got them off one of the groups but it's actually a guy who's got his own page uh, well, his own site which is um, toysandmasks.com um, but he posts a lot into the UK wrestling figure groups so yeah I'll give them both 9 out of 10 ok it's Mega Mania out see you next video